This is the LED6 CPS NSS module from QuickGel. This CPS NSS module is better than any of 6M GPS module. Comparing the size, sensitivity, performance and power consumption, this CPS module is better than all other GPS modules available in the market. In this project, we will build a GPS tracker project using ESP32 Wi-Fi module and OLED display. We will be interfacing QuickTel LED6 GPS module with ESP32. The OLED will display the latitude, longitude, speed, altitude and number of satellite system. On the other hand, the GPS data can be viewed on the ESP32 web server. Thus, if you want a compact and powerful GPS tracker, this is the best GNSS module for you. So let's see how we can build this interesting project. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcv.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCV in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Now let us share an overview of the QuickTail LED6 GPS module first. The LED6 is an ideal solution for wearable fitness devices due to its ultra compact design and low power demands. LED6 GNSS module with an embedded pass antenna and LNA brings the high performance of the MTK positioning engine to industrial application. It has a pass antenna on top with 99 acquisition channels and 33 tracking channels. It acquires and tracks satellites in the shortest time even at the indoor signal level. The module operates at 3V to 4.3V with a typical power consumption of 26MA and in standby mode power consumption is around one point zero MA. The velocity and acceleration measurement accuracy is 0.1 meter per second. It is a UWatt module and operates at the default baud rate of 9600. Coming to the pinout part, it has 12 pins. Out of this, we will only use 5 pins which are the power supply and UWatt pins. The LED6 is a tiny assembly type module that does not have any male female heater pins for testing. So you can use the male heater pin with 2.5 for spacing and solder them on LED6 PCB from the bottom. Now, let us interface this module with ESP32. This is the connection diagram. The connection is fairly simple. Connect the VCC GND for the power supply. Similarly, connect the VCC backer with VCC or to an external battery. The GPS module won't work if the spin is not powered. Connect the RX and TX of LED6 to the TX2, RX2 of the ESP32. Connect the OLED display to the I2C pin of ESP32. I used a breadboard to assemble the circuit. This is my breadboard connection. The ESP32, OLED display and LED6 CPS module are connected to each other using jumper wires. Since the connection looks messy, so I decided to design a custom PCB for this project. The PCB is designed in EasyDA and this is the 2D view of the custom PCB. You can download the cover file from the link in the description. Let's move to the coding part now. The best part about the LED6 GPS CNSS module is that it supports tiny GPS++ library. Download the library and add it to the library folder. You also need SST1306 OLED library for this project. This code is parsing the NEMA coordinates and retrieves the data from the satellite system. If GPS data is available, then only the OLED will display the GPS parameters. From this tools menu, select the ESP32 developer module, then select the COM port. Then click on the upload button to upload the code. Wait for some time and once the code gets uploaded, check your OLED display. For the first time, it might take 2-3 minutes to retrieve data. Next time onwards, it retrieves the location very quickly. The OLED display will show the latitude, longitude, altitude, speed and total satellite. You can take the device outside and power it using a power bank or your car USB and trace the GPS location. For testing, I used a project with a power bank and walked on the road to Canada. Alright, I want to display the GPS data on a mobile now. For this, I will use the web server concept. This is the code for this project that will display the GPS data on a static web page. From these lines, change the Wi-Fi access ID and password. This is the only modification that we need. Now you can upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, 
open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will display the IP address of ESP32. Hence, copy this IP and paste it into your mobile browser. So this is the web page that is displaying the latitude, longitude, speed and altitude. Thus, this is how you can display the GPS data on a web page. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.